In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can add your own custom guides or margins in PowerPoint using my free Add Custom Guidelines add-in. Now, you can access the add-in once installed from your rhythm up here called Add Custom Guides. And then here you'll have access to the menu with five different options. Now, our first option is to add our guides. Now on PC, we have two options here, to add our guides as shapes or using PowerPoint's built-in guide feature. Now, if you use the built-in feature, you cannot add a gutter or alternate margins, but using shapes, you can. I'll just quickly show you um, both and tell you a little bit about the benefits, benefits and drawbacks of both. So we do use shapes to start with, and here we can choose our margins, left, right, top, and bottom. And we have the option to add a left or right gutter. So once we're happy with that, click OK. And now what this does, this adds your margins as a shape. So these are custom drawn shapes. And as you can see, the gutter is alternated on each slide. Now, if you are um, publishing for KDP or anywhere else, as these are shapes, you'll need to delete them before you publish your book. So we have a feature here, delete guides. Now what this will do, this will target only the shapes here. So it won't affect the rest of your presentation or your book. So once you've created your book, how you want it, and you're happy with the margins and the guides, you can just click delete guides here and that will go all through your slides and delete only those shapes, those margin shapes. Now our next option we have here is to add guides using guides. Now this is PowerPoint's uh, default built-in feature. Unfortunately, if you use this, you don't have the option to mirror your guides um, like a gutter on each slide. You just have the left, right, top and bottom. And then as you can see, they appear like this. Now with these, you do not need to uh, delete them when publishing your book. You can keep them there and they won't come out in the final print. And again, you can just click delete guides to clear them all. Our next option here is to just add a single guide. Now on PC, this will be a normal guideline. On Mac, this will be as a shape. So you can choose here at what position you want your margin and if you, your guideline, sorry, and if you want it to be vertical or horizontal. And then you can choose a color. Now Mac, this is pretty much the same, but it is a shape and in the same user form before this, you'll have an option to put an RGB value for the color. So choose a color, click OK. There we go. Now our next option here is to color our guides. So if we want to change the color of our guides, we can click here and choose a color. Now on Mac, this will be similar except for it will be a user form asking you to put an RGB value in rather than a color picker like here. So let's just go for lime green. And then that will just change the color of your guides on all of your slides. And then a final option, which we've already used, is to delete our guide. So again, this is only really essential to delete your guides if you have added your guides as a shape or if you're on Mac, then you'll need to do this because the only option is to add your guides as a shape. You click this and that will just clear them off. I hope this quick video helps you get started using the add-in. If you want the link um, for the add-in, I've included that in the description below. Thanks for watching.